What's up, everyone? I'm Trisha Hirschberger, and this is DIY in 5. Is your Mac slower than a turtle swimming through peanut butter? In this episode of DIY in 5, we're gonna show you five tips to speed up that aging Mac of yours. We're using a 2011 MacBook with OS X El Capitan, but most of these tips will work on older versions too. First, find those resource-hungry programs. Programs that use all your system resources aren't exclusive to the PC. It can happen on Macs too. To get a peek at what programs are slowing down your system, you'll need to go into your spotlight search. Just type command space, type activity monitor, and press enter. Here you can see all the things currently running on your Mac. First, sort by percent CPU and see which programs are slowing down your processor. You can also check to see if any programs are eating up memory, writing heavily to your drive, or even heavily impacting battery usage. Now, if you find your system booting up really slowly, you might need to clean your startup programs. Many programs like to run when your system boots up, but most of the time that doesn't make sense unless it's a program you use every day. To manage those programs, go to the Apple menu in the top left, select System Preferences, click the Users and Groups icon, select your account, and click Login Items. Simply check anything you don't want starting up when you log in and press the minus button. If you've got an older Mac like the one we have here, some of the graphic effects in OS X might actually be slowing you down. To change some of these, you need to go back into System Preferences. This time, click on the Accessibility icon and check Reduce Transparency. You may also want to update your dock preferences to use a scale effect rather than the genie effect. That option is also in System Preferences when you select Dock. Maybe it's your browser. We've mentioned this tip before and we'll say it again here. Some web browsers just slow you down. The truth is we do so much work using our web browsers, including writing this script, that it pays to find the quickest one available. For Macs, the Chrome browser has been known to be exceptionally slow. You might want to use the built-in Safari browser or try out the new Opera browser, which has lots of cool new features and is super fast. As a bonus, using a better web browser might save you some serious battery life too. Our last tip is to check on your disk space. Computers, even Macs, need to have some space free to do some very basic things like save temp files and open applications. To see how much free space you have, click on the Apple menu, select About This Mac, and click on the Storage heading. If you don't have a decent amount of storage free, you might need to empty the trash can, remove applications, and clean temporary files. Or you could always just install a larger SSD. If you want to know how to do that, just check out this video here. Hopefully now your speeds are closer to a really fast turtle swimming through jelly. I have to, I have to assume that's faster, right? <laughs> Thanks so much for watching this episode of DIY in 5. Please give us a like if you like this video and let us know what you would like to see future tech tips on in the comments. My name's Trisha Hirschberger and be sure not to miss these other great GoPro DIY videos and subscribe so you don't miss any in the future. See you next time.